Right now, you've got a chance to solve one of the oldest problems in the books related to business communication, and that is booking appointments. My name is Ryan Baggett. I am the founder and CEO of Chatbot Builder AI, and today I'm going to teach you how to use our AI appointment booking calendar tool, and it could not be any easier. Check it out. All right, so first head on over to chatbotbuilder.ai and you're gonna either log in or create a brand new account. Today, let's just go ahead and create a brand new account. Let's just click on the sign up button and we're going to name our chatbot. Let's name this AI Appointment Setter. Continue. And you're gonna land on the analytics page. All right, so the next step, we need to go ahead and sync our calendar. To do that, let's go over to settings. Let's click on integrations and I'm gonna use my Google Calendar. So I'm gonna click Google Calendar and connect. This is the email address that I'm gonna use associated with the calendar that I care about. So I'm gonna click on the email and click continue. I'm gonna approve the permissions by clicking on the allow button. You need to do all this and you're done. Now your calendar has been connected. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate auto GPT to make life easy. This means we handle all of the conditional logic for you. The one thing I'm gonna to need to do is create a prompt. So to do that, I'm gonna click on edit. You're already connected to OpenAI. You don't need an API key. You can just click edit and create a prompt. I'll create something simple. You are the appointment setter chatbot for Ryan, period. Your goal is to greet the user do your best to answer questions related to his services and chatbot building. When users request to make an appointment, it's important to always capture their first name, last name, email, and phone number. Never use placeholders for this information and always await for the user to supply the contact information. Ryan only takes appointments on Mondays and Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Each session is 30 minutes. There is a cancellation fee of $500 for any missed appointment. And I think that's a pretty good prompt to start with. Now, by default, we have a function enabled called connect user to human. I'm gonna disable that one because we're just gonna let this bot run on autopilot and I don't ever plan on um, being contacted in this instance. So we're gonna turn this off. We'll click continue. Now, the next thing that we're gonna to need to do is actually create a new custom field. We're gonna do this by going to flows. On the flows page, you'll see your custom fields tab. What we're gonna do is click on that tab and click on add. We're gonna name our custom field date. The type is going to be date and time. Date and time of the appointment. I'll use that for the description and click continue. So I've made a new custom field date and time that is gonna be very important. The next thing I'm going to do is go over to our marketing section. We're gonna scroll down a bit to the appointment scheduling tool here. We're gonna to have to add a new calendar. Let's click add and we'll just call it Ryan's calendar. All right, and so here's where we're gonna define how our calendar is gonna work. I'll capitalize the C here. Book a one-on-one -on -one session with Ryan, period. Each session is 30 minutes long. And remember, there is a $500 cancellation fee. Thank you for considering our consultation service. All right, so there's my description. Let's go to when people can book. So I'm gonna go Monday, click edit. I'm gonna change this to 9 a.m. Okay, and then this is gonna be 17, 4 or 5 p.m. Save. There will be no appointments made on Tuesday, save. There'll be no appointments made on Thursday, save. And no appointments made on Friday, save. I'm gonna go back to Wednesday and make sure I end my day at um, 5 p.m. And start it at 9 a.m. All right, so now I can accept appointments on these days. I've got my time zone set, which is correct. When will it happen? Will it be a phone call, in-person meeting, or an online event? It's going to be a phone call. For the notification, we build in a flow for you for notifications. You can build in your own cancellation flow. 
You can also say, you know what, we don't want any of your reminder flows, Ryan, delete all that. But we try to do some of the harder work for you. Everything you can modify once you've got this saved. You can add new flows, new reminders for yourself or for the client or for anyone else that is um, needed. Now, here's some restrictions. We said our appointments are going to be 30 minutes, so that's good. Do we want to add time after our events? This is buffer time. We don't need to add any buffer time because we're only going to take one per day. People can schedule within rolling days in the future. How many? 60. So after 60 days, they can't book. They can book within a 60-day window. Minimum days in advance. So um, we have it set to default by one. You can change this to zero if you wanted to. They could book day of. Um, and maybe we'll do that today. So there'll be a daily limit. We'll say yes. And we'll have a one per day. Okay. If we allowed a group meeting, this would now allow for others to book the same, the same time slot. One per day is all I want. They can book at any time. Let's click save. Perfect. So now we've got our calendar all set. The next thing we're going to do is go back to our settings section. We're going to go to integrations, open AI, and we're going to go down to functions. We're going to create a function that's going to allow the chatbot to now take a appointment easily. So let's click add and we'll just call this book an appointment allows the user to book an appointment very simple and what we're going to need to do here is let's first start off with date remember this is the the date of the appointment that the customer is looking for and what's going to happen here is some magic when i now go to date here the custom field that i've made i can now see the calendar is available for this appointment on my calendar that I've made here. I'll need to go ahead and get the other information that's required, the full name, the email, and the phone number. And we'll just say full name, email, phone number. All right, and then once the appointment has been successfully made, you can just say, thank you so much. We look forward to your appointment. Please remember there is a $500 cancellation fee. And that will let the user know and us know that the appointment has been made. And this will then also um, set the appointment in our calendar. So we won't be able to miss it. Now there's one last thing that we need to do. Let's go to integrations here. The breadcrumb is fine. Get you back to the OpenAI section faster. And again, we're using AutoGPT, so it makes life easy. We've made the function. Let's go back and click edit where our prompt is here. We're gonna go to this function and click it book an appointment now we've got that function enabled i'm going to also provide some additional instructions to make the chatbot better um hopefully so i'm going to do a hashtag important it's very important that you never provide any appointments outside of monday through wednesday in the times of 9 a.m to 5 p.m if the appointment is not available always remember that you cannot use any time slots other than the ones that have been defined. And if a current time slot is unavailable, apologize to the user and do your best to provide the next closest available time slot. All right, so I think this is great. We'll stick to um, 3.5 and we don't need to change anything else. Maybe I'll draw the temperature down to four and we'll click continue. Now we should be able to test our chatbot. So one way we can do that is go right over to the flows section. Let's click on the welcome message folder. And let's just click on the three dots here next to welcome message. And we can just choose get link. We're going to get the web chat link and we'll paste this into our browser. All right. And now we can test this guy out. So we should get our welcome message. And I'm going to be like, hey, who is this? We should see the response on the chat for Ryan. Yeah, I was interested in your services. What do you guys do? Just to say something about chatbots. Boom. Great. I'm interested in an appointment. What get? What is your availability? Sure, how about um, 1.30 p.m. today? 
tomorrow. It should say no because it's Tuesday. Perfect. Tomorrow's Tuesday. How about today at 1.30 p.m.? Great. We can schedule it. All right. Yes, my name is Michael Jordan, and my phone number is plus one eight four three five zero five one six five seven, and my email address is. I'll give my real email address so I get the actual notification. Okay, if we're successful, we should see. Boom! Thank you, Michael Jordan. You have your appointment scheduled for today at one thirty. Fantastic. I can see on my phone, I already have a, a notification here. Let's go to our analytics page. Okay, and let's go to the inbox to verify that the appointment has been made. We can see right here, it says appointments. All right, so I've got all the information because I've got the phone number. It also knew the country and state, which is so amazing. That is epic. Michael Jordan, that's me, got my email. The appointment to see it michael jordan boom 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 michael jordan june 1 30. all right and so now we can check actually my calendar here let's go to my google calendars and bam i can see everything is perfectly done this is awesome guys that is how it's done guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to book appointments with ai with our calendar tool if you have any questions or comments let us know thanks for watching and thanks for your support peace